Hi, and welcome to Net Picking. Do you want to learn how to play Bulletproof by Stan Walker on the drums? Yeah, me either! Alright, so in the verse, I'm going to show you two different ways to play. The first way is we we're trying to play the bass line with the chords, and that, that's pretty simple. And the second way is going to be a little bit more tricky, and that's trying to play two guitar parts and a little bit of bass at the same time. And that's going to take a little bit more practice. So um, both ways are fine, it's up to you which one you want to check out and try. Alright, so let's break it down a little bit. In the verses, we're trying to play the bass and the chords at the same time with a really simple pattern. It starts on a D minor chord and it goes like this. Alright, so that's bass, chord, bass, then two bass, which is the A, and then chord and bass. Put it together really slowly. Next is the exact same pattern, this time with the B flat chord. Uh, B flat at, at the top you've got this G, and it's going to go. Okay, so the B, B flat bass, and then the uh, chord bass, and then the two Fs, and then chord and bass back to the B flat and the chord. So, right, and the last one, exactly the same two frets higher, this time with the C. Let's put the whole thing together really slowly. Alright, so the other variation I wanted to try and do was trying to play both guitar parts at the same time. Now there's a, a track in the background that plays something, um, some muted guitar, and I think it'll be cool if we could combine the two. So you're going to play the bass and then the chord, just like we did before. Then you're going to play this muted guitar part, the which is just the A note played in quick succession like this. Okay. But the last downstroke, you've actually got to play the chord again. Which, that's the tricky part. Like that. And then you're going to do exactly the same for the next two chords of the B flat and the C. So um, for the B flat, it'll be and then C. Alright, so let's try putting that together and up to speed. Uh, the chorus, the feel changes, it's no longer that uh, kind of the police reggae sort of feel. It, comes, um, it goes sort of more rocky and the chords are D minor, B flat, F, and then to the C, and then A7. This time you could go to the C sharp diminished seventh. Okay, and if I just break that chord down a little bit, and uh, an easier way to remember it is uh, just exactly the same as a C seven chord, except you're going to change the bass to the C sharp note. Yeah, that's how, that's an easy way to sort of change to that chord if you're not used to playing it. Okay, so you can go to that C sharp diminished seventh, and then the A seven. Second time, exactly the same. Except this time we're going to go straight to that C sharp diminished seventh, and then to the A seven. Hey, thank you for watching my first ever nap picking video. There's plenty more to come. Every Sunday night, I'm going to be uploading a song. So please comment below and give me a suggestion of what song you want me to teach. Until then, we'll catch you next time. God bless.